humanity is to survive. They must stand together and face the rising darkness. Though that may not be. <laughs> Hell yeah! More Diablo. Alright, gonna be exp. No, 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 no. That, that can't be true. That's not true! That's impossible! No! Why are you doing, Blizzard? What are you doing? Why are you shooting yourself in the dick here? Why? Why are they shooting themselves in the penis? Why are they shooting themselves in the peepee? -pee? The cock? The diggle dangle? The fucking again? Why? <sighs> Welcome to Splitting Wires. I'm your host, Austin. Sprinkle some pixel dust. Uh, sprinkle me timbers. I don't care. I'm pissed. Let's talk about one thing that made my childhood. Growing up was a game company called Blizzard. Now, Blizzard, you might know them as... Do I even need to introduce them? Fuck it, I'm not even gonna introduce them. Let's just talk about Blizzard, all right? Back back in the good old days, there was something called the, the real-time strategy chess master game. I don't know what you wanna call it, but, but one time it was called Battle Chess or something. Starcraft, Warcraft, and all those good things were good. And they also made another game series called Diablo. Now, for some strange reason, they're with Activision now. Why Blizzard's with Activision right now? Why are they merging companies? God fucking knows. All right, long story short, I want to talk about what made Blizzard games good. And I think you know what made Blizzard games good? Well, sometimes it... I really think what made Blizzard games good was that even though that some of their gameplay, like Warcraft, Warcraft was casual. People, it brought people in from a casual market into the game, while Starcraft, on the other hand, was more hardcore. They were able to appeal to both casual and hardcore gamers at the same time. And on top of that, bring them together with the, with the great amount of humor that they have. Uh, Warcraft and Starcraft brought something called poking. When you poke your any, when you poke your units, they will make some very funny noises and stuff. And comment to us. They will break the fourth wall, make some funny references here and there. And I think everyone knows the good one. Quit poking me. <laughs> Quit poking me. All right. So. Starcraft. When I was young, that's what I started with first. Uh, fun fact, um, we didn't actually own the game. We actually just borrowed it from another friend of ours and uh, burned it on a disc. You know, when things were very, very legal back then. Ooh, copyright laws these days are even worse, especially on YouTube. What else we got here? Um, I'm going to be honest. The, the, the fun thing about StarCraft was the cheat codes, including Warcraft. Putting on the cheat codes, just breaking the game, just going through the story, that's what I liked about the games. I love the story, I love the lore within the games of StarCraft and Warcraft. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Zeratul, cool character. Jim Raider, absolutely fun. Phoenix, the proud warrior. Tassadar, the one who made the sacrifice. Kerrigan, and, and now she's a... Uh, what do I say this? Um, oh, Sylvanas Windrunner is basically Kerrigan 2.2, and I don't really like her that much. Uh, but everything about Warcraft, the fall of Arthas, the, uh, the beginning of the, the rise of Jaina Proudmoore, seeing Thrall become an extraordinary war chief, but then giving that up to in favor of someone else, and then you got another Hell Scream on board. Well, well now the time, deep, the time being, I would like to talk about Diablo. Diablo was that one series I really didn't get into at the time as a kid. I never even heard of it until recently, about maybe five or six years ago, when a buddy of mine loaned me a game of his on the PlayStation. I didn't really get it. I played a little bit, got bored of it, and never wanted to play it again. I don't see the appeal of Diablo. But then I saw Diablo 3, that grinding gameplay and becoming stronger. I definitely see the appeal in that. James, are you there? Get out of here! You know, just uh, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Get get on get on set. I'm not sure what you were. Uh... Oh, we're talking about Blizzard. You want to talk about your experience with StarCraft? StarCraft? Mm. Uh, I mean, there's not much. I mean, well, there is probably plenty to say. But I mean, I'm just walking in on your your episode. Sorry, guys. 
Uh, it's StarCraft. Wow, an amazing game. StarCraft 2, an improvement. They came out with Ghost eventually, which kind of, which was a play on one of the units in StarCraft. But then it was canceled, I heard. Which is, why did they cancel it? It's such a cool idea. You know what? I thought it came out, but it just didn't really work. I thought it canceled. Like it failed tremendously. I, I didn't get it. Uh, but StarCraft uh, original is really what it comes down to for me. Um, I'm not sure. If it yeah, it was, it was canceled. The oh, game. Wow. There was some gameplay footage of it. I remember when it came out, but when you could get, when you did get Ghost and the of StarCraft, that was when all hell broke loose and then you were able to the unleash Warrior. So the go part of the terror race. Reported. There's also the Zergs and what was it? The uh, Protoss. Oh my God, this so is so early two thousand. Like three different races: alien, humans, or like some sort of mutation type bug thing. The Zergs. Really fun game, and a lot of different strategies that you could play from those. It was one of those beginnings of those strategy games that were like really, really good. That you know, Age of Empires passed, went off to doing uh, Command and Conquer started to like, do. You know, there was Warcraft before but that, Warcraft but then was this kind of like was like another evolution off of that, and and what it allowed you to do, and what how it allowed you to build. There were so many fun mini games. Uh, there's uh, where you had like turret defense, where you had to like basically do. These are off when it went one of these online mode games basically that you could set up a whole bunch of uh, turrets that you had to de the original turret defense where you know like what is it Clash of Kings I don't Clash know. of Clans Clash of Clans whatever those that tried to bring games. the more um, uh, um even more casual yeah, market really into the game that originates from like League of Legends and maybe even from other games before that where and then they and then Blizzard and created Heroes of the Storm to combat MOBA games such as League of Legends yeah. and Smite. And I, I never really got a chance to play Heroes of the Storm, and I always wanted to give it a try. I wanted to blast off as Kale Thos, because he's voiced by Quentin Flynn, of all people. Uh, Kale Thos? Kale Thos, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's the Prince of the Blood Elms. Um, it's Warcraft stuff. I don't think you'll remember it. Warcraft I was not really into. Uh, I yeah, did even not though really we, we got Warcraft. it from our, from our second cousin Shemek. He, he loaned us the game, remember? Yeah, I, but I, I was still really more so into StarCraft. Or FIFA. Uh, what were some? Well, I did play War a whole bunch of Warcraft, actually, though. I, I mean, we remember we did play the game a little bit. Well, it was I played it more than anyone else, though. But what Warcraft time. exactly was that? That was it was the third the, one. It was it was Warcraft three. Was it? That, that's the strange the thing. first time when you could really be kind of like an individual. That was and, War of the and Warcraft. And you had to like upgrade yourself as while you fought through War as basically playing the, the original game of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. Yeah. I actually have the game. Right, I play the game sometimes even still this very day. Actually, mm -hmm. fun fact. Oh my gosh, do uh, you still play Warcraft? I still play. I still have my subscription still up whenever I get the chance oh, to play it. Oh, well, the old World of Warcraft. Yeah, the old one. Are they coming out with an updated version with that? Has there been any changes? There actually, there has been a confirmation in BlizzCon <laughs> that they're going to up to um, uh, reinvent Warcraft three with HD graphics. So my question is, like, you know, with that online mode, it's it's an online mode that's kept you engaged, kept you coming back. Mm -hmm. A GTA online mode was apparently loaded with griefers, cheating, cha you know, uh, uh, hacking, oh money being inserted, and all the, or, all sorts of stuff that just made, and also m loads of microtransactions by Rockstar basically that like made you pay like a hundred bucks for like some pointless thing, <laughs> so you, for like a, for like a, a boat, so you could have a boat. Can't you argue that uh, uh, but, the but World of Warcraft subscription fee could be considered the first microtransaction? Wow, well, that's an interesting thing. Uh, but one you're of getting... the first micro one of the first microtransactions, but uh, that was bringing me into the idea of what is Red Dead Online going to be, ultimately? Any sort of interaction is, is going to have some sort of griefing unless there's limitations on the programming. Now, the, the hindsight of those programs is who, how much freedom do you want? This is the Wild West, James. People want freedom. So people should be allowed to grieve. Yeah, but at what point does it come in up against your, the, your user experience, um, right? Well, right now, we're talking about Warcraft, James. In Warcraft, there was the only sort of griefing that we had was player versus player. 
Mm -hmm. When it came to player versus player, it all, it all came down to the few classes that were top tier, and I believe that was the rogue classes and the druid classes. They had the highest amount of damage output, I believe. Wasn't there some sort of big issue that was highlighted in South Park? Like, you know, that this one guy could just go around killing everybody oh. illegally? <laughs> the joke of that character was that he uh, he had so much of a no life, his character was higher level than anyone else. The max level at the time that that game was 80 to 90, um, uh, 80 and 90, I think. And the, and the joke was that he was played that the game like so the, much. Was that the max attainable? Like yes. In, like the in max, a level 100 however, Pokemon can't... he played the game like a level so much. level 100 Pokemon can't get past level 100? Yes. But he played the game so much, he was beyond that level. <laughs> he actually broke the program oh, and go beyond it. Oh. it to the point. And on top of that, he could kill players without wagering a duel. That's how powerful that's he was. Okay, yeah. So, but that's the thing. I think it will, Well, I think GTA eventually introduced the idea where you could kind of like go... You're on map, off map. I forget what the the modes actually called. Comments below. I'm sure somebody knows what it is in GTA, where you could basically be invisible but still visible, invisible to being killed but still visible to affecting things on the map. But you still had less effect on the map, maybe. Less effect. But I, GTA Online to me wasn't really fun, and it was there was nothing there for me to go back. I was like. I like playing the single player, you know, playthrough, which I, and right now I'm ter having a lot of fun with Red Dead. I think I'm only around 30% <laughs> through, but I played so much. It's just so, so fun to much run around. You're going to play more tomorrow, dude. Uh, and, uh, We're we, going to play I think more we'll, we tomorrow. Pass a, we'll, we'll probably pass a controller around tomorrow. And, and, like, Streaming like, around, we'll, doing more hunting, yeah. doing some of the story missions, oh, yeah. undercovering the truth. It, it's so fun. Yeah, truth. I mean, and, and you kind of get sucked into it. So it's fun. You know, like, what, what watching is so entertaining, too. What Red Dead is, it's just, it's, it's so fun. And, and there's so many funny situations that just happen. I mean, like, just all of a sudden where you just like laugh out loud like oh you didn't expect that outcome like even like you you, you know it's a video game and you know they're in countless i, I can't give any spoilers <laughs> red right. dead's been great though it's You're been right. fantastic it's been a lot of fun out of out of context get get a uh, red dead redemption 2 it's really good i highly recommend it highly recommend yeah. so james what was your in uh in Star back, back to blizzard what was your favorite units in starcraft uh, well, we mentioned the ghosts, uh, of, of course. Ghosts were very. But then there was the individual units, like the Jim Rainers, um, the hero units, the as hero they're units, the Zerg, the Zerg Queen, Kerrigan. Who, Kerrigan, she she was originally Terran, but she changed it to like the Zerg Queen. Uh, a couple of the Protoss. Do. Uh, what are, what were some of the Protoss names? There's the Zelas, uh, Zer uh, Zeratul, Zeratul. Tassadar, Tassadar, Phoenix, Phoenix. There are some there are some incredible characters and the and the story. I remember watching in, in in StarCraft One just like some of the 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 videos. That's what really also was really great about StarCraft, like those cutscenes. There were some very Ooh, scary cutscenes cut that like the when the first time you're watching them. Um, I, I imagine we could do spoilers now. Spo spoilers. I <laughs> mean, listen, this is an old game. We can talk about the spoilers of StarCraft. The, okay, we'll talk about spoilers. Uh, but spoilers right now, if you don't want to know, just like entering that there was that one ship. Uh, video where you're inside of a ship and there's like body parts floating around and it was like the first game where it was really like showing like that kind of like you know graphical detail and then also putting like a story around well, there's probably loads of games that had story it was just a great amount of story detail it was like a movie video game and then with decisions loads and loads of decision making which is what really was you know that's what the best games involve forcing you to make loads and loads of decisions and choices of buildings and to individualize. And that's the other cool thing about StarCraft was that you were able to individualize your strategy and you could invent your strategy and, 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 and change things and do different things. And that's what was really cool. And you could play different the three different... There are different ways to play the different races. The Zerg was designed at being cheap rushdown. Protoss were expensive, but potent. Oterium was more balanced and, and more malleable. I like being Protoss myself. For me, I like p picking Protoss too, but the problem is getting them started, it takes a while and you're always vulnerable. Yes, and, and you needed those pylons. You, and, and you, <laughs> you must construct additional pylons, James. You definitely James. needed those you, pylons. You have not enough minerals, James. Uh, on top of that, those, those turrets... Wow, the, the way, photon turrets are my favorite because they, they attack oh. both air and land. Well, every I think everybody had Love like a, a the kind photon of photon turrets. turret, but the photon turrets for the for Protoss were especially awesome, and their aircraft carriers. Their the aircraft carrier. carriers were deadly. They had the while, strongest unit in the game. The while carrier the units. had the Yamato cruiser. Um, I'm not really too 
remember. I'm not. I'm not too clear the Zerg didn't with really what have the Zerg an, had. They didn't have an equivalent um, of that. They did not have really. an equivalent of uh, of the Yamato ship and carrier units. The Yamato ship, though, if you could get that that uh, super, Yamato gun, the Yamato gun going, which I swear which to God in, is actually a reference to the Yamato to the battleship Yamato gun, the wave motion gun. I swear to God, that was a reference to that. That was a great gun, though. That was a great weapon. So I mean, both of their air units were incredible, and then. The Zerg had uh, those like weird overlord. The overlords, things. they were both their um, uh, detector units, or also their um, uh, supply depots and pylons, and also acted as their detectors. The Zerg were and a totally different. Animal. They were different. They were and absolutely you, different. And you, if, if I mean, that's what's cool. If you understood how to play them, you could tear it up with them and have and have a blast. But also, I mean, it really, you could tear it up on any one of these uh, of these particular units of these style of races, rather. What the? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! What is this? Zerg rush! Are you just getting Zerg rush? I'm getting Zerg rush! That's well. That brings up uh, there. Was, there was a lot of different plays that you could make, and I'm and oh god, much below no. if you remember some of the plays you would make. But Zerg rush was one such tactic where if you're the Zerg, basically you could go rush them. You you build a couple quick uh, of the quickest you know attacking units that you can that were really low level, but you could rush the rush the enemy. And boom, take them down early. And oh, Zerg God. rushing was a big thing. Hence, you could take advantage of Zerg versus a Protoss. Very at risk. T Terran would be in a bit more... Terran with their fire bats and their... What were their Marines? Certainly had a, a, a decent bit of firepower. Uh, the Protoss' surprisingly very better unit was that spider unit. I'm not... Uh, I'm not entirely too sure what it was called. Maybe it starts with the B. What the heck is going on here? The Zerg rush. Those are the Zerg. -lings. That was so funny. That was, <laughs> that was very funny. I was like, oh, the Zerg. Let's look up the B. Oh my god. I was. I did not know Google. I know they did a barrel roll. Meme. You should look up. Uh, you should look up Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek. Star Trek. Wrong universe. Tactics. Starcraft tactics, though, because that's really what it was really fun about the game was making up different tactics. Well, the main Protoss unit was using uh, Dragoons because they were... Dragoons. Dragoons were the, the best units. units for the Protoss. Uh, when it came to Zerg, you had to use a combination of Hydralisk and Zerglings. Terran, you just used straight up, straight uh, Marines, I believe. One well, or the other. And one of the other best things about StarCraft was the interaction you felt with your unit because it was funny poking them. Whenever you poked them, or, or you, and some once in a while, someone get out of their shiggity shit outfit. That aliens reference. They love making references. Every once in a while, they would throw in a different thing if you did poke them enough. And, and yeah, they were it just such funny. I'm listening, sir. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? Identify target. Identify Ready target. Ready to roll out. Ready to roll out. Yeah, there was sure. some, uh, there were some great ones. Uh, do you remember some of the um, for hire? My life for hire. My life for hire. I always thought they were saying my life for hire. My wife for hire. <laughs> my my life for hire. My what wife it, for hire. Where are some other ones? Is there a tool? A doon toredas. A doon toredas. Asara Templari. Asara Templari. What the hell does that mean? That, that and Toro Adun. For a doom. Hopefully my standing isn't making it. Oh no, they nervous. can't see you. Oh, they can't even see me. No, they can only see your half. Oh my here. gosh! Well, I thought that <laughs> they, they'd be able to see me, and I'm just like standing. I was thinking, I was debating just, just just twisting the twisting this so you can at least see a. Well, no, I'm not too I'm not too worried about it. But sorry if I made people nervous. They can't see my stuff. That's my fine, face. James. They know who you are. They know who you are. Mm -hmm. Even certainly. if they only see a bit, uh, only see top half of you, the bottom half of you. Well, yeah, certainly, and. Uh, I mean, what, so what do you remember about Star StarCraft? Um, everything that you said, uh, the, fun, the funny stuff, the interactivity, the story, however, that is the one that I think I remember the most about the StarCraft, is the, the campaign story mode. Going through the world of StarCraft, me, feel like, okay, well, who are these Terrans? Oh, they're, they're, they're basically colonists. That's basically what they are. Mm -hmm. Going outside of Earth, doing their own thing. Oh, there's, there's, these products are very tribal, very spiritual people. Well, Zerg, oh my god, there's this crazy alien race that could, like, easily infest the entire world. And you're, like, thinking, all right, it's just a war. But then you realize, the Zelnaga. Who, who are the Zelnaga? And you're, like, realizing, wait a minute, the Zelnaga. They've done everything. It's like this global conspiracy within the game. You're trying to figure out, oh my god, what's going on here? Who are the Zelnaga? The ancient, the, the precursors of both the Zerg and the Protoss trying to create a, a, a species with a pure 
um, uh, ability and, and being smart. I don't know what it was. Uh, essence and uh, adaptability. I, I don't know one or the other. And the Zelnaga, because they were they knew they were going to go extinct. They created the Protoss and the uh, Zurg race. And when eventually they will combine together to create the new Zelnagas. It's weird. But you reminded me of uh, the when the ter of the Terrans when they they show like the president or the world or, or and. They have all those crazy cutscenes. Just it, that's what made StarCraft one. I bet it's. I wonder if it holds up. I definitely feel like the original StarCraft. I have the game uh, installed right here, by the way. I think mm -hmm. the game still holds up to this very day. That's that's a that's, that's a, what's and you know even till this day, even in Korea, people are still playing StarCraft in hardcore. That is why that's the game is still powerful. It, is, it holds up till this very day. I, I highly recommend just playing StarCraft. It's hard. It's not for. It's going to be difficult, but you can still enjoy the game for what it is. Starcraft 1 is a lot of fun. Uh, I, I, I remember playing it countless times. Playing the campaign through. Repeating the campaign. Repeating through, the campaign. Through. And then also... And then using Operational Qual and Power Overwhelming. Just using Cheat Codes of Blaze. Because if you want to... Uh, listen. Because I was a kid back then. I just did not want to... I didn't like being challenged with these games. I was like, oh, it seems too hard for me. So I used the Cheat Codes so I could just blaze through the story. Because I don't care about the gameplay at first. I just want to know about the story. I want to know what was going on. Mm -hmm. I'm only it was only a few years later where I'll play the game for what it is mm -hmm. and try to actually challenge myself and I said okay this oh, I, actually didn't, I did not have cheats I did not have the luxury you cheats. had the cheats you had the che you did not have the cheats I had cheats but then I had to kick my, my own ass just to play the game for what it is and it's difficult the game is difficult I think later on yeah you, I eventually figured out figured out the last but mission I was ready after the, I'd beaten it the last mission in the Protoss campaign um where you have to destroy the Overmind is really oh. hard. It's oh, so spoilers. hard. <laughs> they don't care about it. They know the Tassadar dies. Great, great game. Um, it, it, what else is there really by Blizzard? Well, I, uh, we, we talked about... Look up Blizzard games. Well, Diablo. Diablo. I played Diablo 3 through and through. That was... So you played Diablo. Uh, it was a fun... I did not... I, I've seen Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 played. Uh, and to me, they you know they looked a little more complicated than I wanted to get, for some reason, and it just. It, th but then Diablo three was you know a total upgrade and total ch you know maybe a graphical change, and I just happened to play it, and it was fun. It was you know just a loot fest, and it's just another one of those loot fest games where you're walking around doing these quests. And they're and they're the perfect co-op multiplayer game. Yeah, I heard that you, you know? can actually play them uh, two players in this game. Look, 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 at, look at this ancient Diablo game. three was. I don't know Diablo one. I mean, I can see how it's a lot of fun, definitely. But Diablo three was a lot of fun because you could play it. You know, co-op. You're walking around these dungeons with you and your buddy, and you are just building up your armor, building up your swords, building up your weapons, finding better weapons. Questing is one of the original. What's the word? Um, uh, t -t 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 the original. Uh, what's the uh, the game with the guns and mutants and starts with and starts, out? starts with a B Borderlands Borderlands God, Borderlands would be fun it was like, that'd be a fun uh, it was like to Borderlands but you know before well before Borderlands where you know you could quest get better guns and just r run around with your buddy and just you know have a blast basically I can't believe this was this was gameplay back and have then. fun <laughs> just constantly swinging a sword this was fun back then James well you're tapping you know X or A or X or ASD whatever you what do you got your setup to be or your mouse I th this is what Diablo 1 was this is I mean don't get me wrong this is like Fallout style graphics ooh Hey, look, the magical pointer hand, the Blizzard trademark. I gotta say, I found out the other day on my phone that we can only record to 14 minutes, so we gotta do ours live, so you should always check on your I have and what, 40 gigs left. Oh, yeah, that's good. But I've been deleting old I videos have, and uploading I had them. mega gigs on my camera. Yeah, so this it, is, what was, the, what was the point of this gameplay? What was fun yeah. about it? It was dungeon crawler based, right? You had to go through, kill everything, get loot, observe everything, look out for traps and such, watch your health. Um, where is your health in this game? Is this your this game, you know, is fun. And it's a blast. It, it it's archaic, but I look, you have a little mace. Uh, where's his sword? Dark Souls definitely gets an inspiration, I'm sure. Yes, Dark Souls is probably a combination of Zelda and Diablo when you think about mm -hmm. it. Definitely a combination of these two in terms of 
what their go their style, their art their art style and their overall gameplay. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was so that's the first game. Int- interesting this is how it started. Then it became Diablo 2. Diable. 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 Say, so, what how did the game upgrade? S- look at that. It's a little faster. The animations are smoother. It looks like you're able to move in a move in more variety of directions. You're faster. You're a little faster too. So the graphics are faster. Got a little back. Got a little faster. Inventory still is. Another game that this. Overall, the game is. It still looks the same, but I also would like to know the other improvements of the game. I I'm not an expert on Diablo, so I really can't say like what change in Diablo one and two. I would have to put, do a little research on that myself. But James, you Sounds played like Gauntlet Legends. You, it kind of Gauntlet Legends is a fun game too. James, so you played Diablo. You said you played Diablo three. Right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I have played Diablo three. God, Diablo, Diablo Zero. God, what am I doing here? Witch Doctor gameplay. Overwatch. Okay, now that's a game I would like to talk about too. But overall, yeah. So throughout the entire, looks like Diablo's gameplay remained the same. It's dungeon crawling, looting, and fun. But let's talk about. You want to talk about some Overwatch games? Well, I don't know too much about Overwatch, but I actually know more about Hearthstone. Hearthstone. I love Hearthstone. <laughs> I don't care if it's broken and, and not balanced yet, but I still love playing some Hearthstone. There are some good ideas behind Hearthstone. Yeah, definitely. Because the Hearthstone, the greatest ability about Hearthstone, since it's a digital card game, the creators can always balance the game for what it is by editing some t- card text. That's all what they have to do. Mm-hmm. Unlike uh, games like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon, if there's a banned card, they got the ban. They can't errata it. They could errata it, but it kind of ruins the purpose of the card. You're better off just banning and just make a new version of the card instead of just making a, a full-on errata. I'm gonna look through their games. Recommend real going quick. to Zef and Simo about that. Overwatch, I know a lot of people play, but I also know that you know. I was a Team Fortress guy, guy, guy two guy growing up, and when Overwatch came, I thought it was a threat. But after playing a little, and after looking at the gameplay a little bit, I realized that it could coincide with Team Fortress too, because the, both of the games, yes, team uh, team uh, purpose shooters, but, but different. The gameplays are so different enough that I definitely can say that they're completely different games. Cut from the same cloth, yes, but go for two different uh, ideas. Team Fortress 2 is more uh, hardcore based, while Overwatch is definitely more casual based. It brought more casual people to enter into the Overwatch because sometimes TF2, it's hard to bring new- newcomers into the game. There's so much tech in Team in Team Fortress 2. So many uh, weapons that you have to choose from, loadouts, many things that can go horribly, long, uh, horribly wrong. Hearthstone's one of those ga- uh, not Hearthstone. Uh, Overwatch is one of those games that really looks fun to me, but for some reason I never play. It looks fun. I definitely agree that Overwatch looks fun by the gameplay, but I never want I didn't give it a chance yet because like one is like, if I get into this, I have to learn all the new tech. It's probably really quick, but at the same time, it's like, why should I do this when I have other games I can play? They re- I, too many, too too many games, too too many games. And they're yeah. just in my mind right now. I, ha- I have to worry about Smash Ultimate. I want to play some Mario Party. I got to worry about Red Dead. I got to worry about Warcraft. I got, I got other things to do with my life. And then they were a little Overwatch. too ambitious with StarCraft Ghost. Yeah, but but that it looked that's like a that. great game idea. Uh, the Lost Vikings, I think, is a game I've played that the we've played. North by Northwest. Can yeah, you North that by was Northwest. A Blizzard game. Yeah, North by Northwest. Could you believe that was a Blizzard game? That funny game. That that, that was uh that's definitely a fun little game there. Uh, a different little platformer pl- puzzle solver, basically. It was a pu- it was it was. But it basically. stank that you know it didn't save your progress. And you had to use a code. You had to use codes, it. and I I never saved them. <laughs> I love the voice acting in that game. Mm-hmm. I did one thing. I, I, they did Command and Conquer. It was Blizzard. They had they had a sense of humor. All right. It says Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer. Yeah, it says they did Command and Conquer, which is another fun computer game way back in the day. Destiny. Uh, Destiny is an. And act- now it's Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard. Oh yeah. But wait, how did, that's true because uh, war. In a, here, look, they have Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and Activision and Destiny 2 because Activision combined with uh, Blizzard. Mm-hmm. How does Destiny get on here? So does it mean that Bungie is part of Activision 2? How powerful is Activision? Mm, I don't 
know. They used to have Tony Ooh, Hawk. Oh, they have Warcraft. Remember when Tony Hawk was Warcraft great game? 3. War has was. returned. We leave it pre purchase now. They're going to have a Warcraft uh, 3 Reforged, and I can't wait for this game to come out. There are definitely games that are like, you know, at epoch changing, you know, and, and StarCraft was one of them. Uh, Tony Hawk was one of them. Uh, the Legend of Zelda was one of them. Oh, James. In celebration of one year Destiny, I uh, bowed out now. We want to give you a copy of Destiny 2. They're giving me Destiny 2 for free. <laughs> what? They want me at Destiny 2? Is it because nobody's playing Destiny or <laughs> Destiny 2? It's because 2? no one's playing Destiny 2 anymore. The game flopped a little bit, James. Well, the, the game flopped hard because here's the there was thing. Not, there wasn't a lot to do. You know what? They lost me. As soon as you dished Halo, <laughs> as soon as you lost Master Chief, you lost me. But then they probably lost me even before Master Chief because at some point we evolved past Master Chief. Well, Halo, th Halo Reach was the last... But now we're talking about... Well, we're talking about Sony. Oh, I thought this Blizzard, was about Blizzard. Bungie Activision. to Activision. It's a whole video game conspiracy, wow. James. Everything. Blizzard is a huge gaming company. Well, they company. got Call of Duty. Now they got Black Activision. And Bungie's, uh, Bungie's underneath them. Which they took, Fort, uh, they took a Fortnite. They took Fortnite, basically, and put down Call of Duty Black Ops Does 4. that mean they could take down Disney? I don't know. Could the look good. What if Disney takes over them? Wow. <laughs> that's more to the gauntlet. That's another one to the gauntlet. Well, yeah, I, I'm, wow, I, I'm actually kind of surprised they're giving me uh, people Destiny 2 for... Uh, all right, then, I guess I'll claim it. Uh, I have one comment before maybe I'll, I'll take off here, but I think we should do a video on civilization sometime. That'd yeah, that's, that's the you and Jeffrey course, video. That'd be a fun that would be you and Jeffrey video. James, James, thank you for coming, for sneaking on stage, all right? Later, bro. It should still be filming. You're on 31 minutes. All right. I guess I can talk a little bit. I can, I can I'll talk. wrap it up. All right. I'll wrap this up. All right. What else is there Three to... What is there to talk about? Well, um, uh, we talked about Warcraft, Starcraft, a little bit Overwatch, a little bit Diablo here and there, Hearthstone, how fun the game could be, Heroes of the Storm, and apparently Blizzard's going to be... And enemies are going to give me Destiny 2 for free and everyone else, go buy some Destiny 2. I'm going to... I guess I can play a little bit and make a video off of it if I have the balls to. Well, let's talk about Blizzard a little bit more in depth before I go. Why did Blizzard make Diablo Immortal? If I remember correctly, Activision did not was not satisfied with the sales of five hundred fifty million dollars from Black Ops Four. <sighs> Greedy dirtbags. Well, for the time being, I, it makes me really wonder if, uh, like, Blizzard was forced to make. A, uh, immortal just to make a quick cash buck I highly doubt that I mean Blizzard has made has made many mistakes in the past they're not perfect either uh, they made Warlords of Drainer which if, that was a definitely a big mistake uh, even Cataclysm was a big mistake because now they're changing Warcraft too much listen I love Warcraft I love me some Warcraft I love going through the adventure I love going through just picking a new character just going through the tiny little missions and make my way to, to some dungeoning I love being a paladin what's a paladin I love being a druid I I love being a rogue and a priest there's nothing wrong with being a casual gamer there really isn't and I think that's what Blizzard is trying to cash in on along with Activision. They just want to appeal to the casual games while also giving them a full blast of, of love. Well, here's the thing about being a casual gamer. Where did you come from? I was, I was in the background. I was just uh, taking care of put, clean up stuff. Uh, the thing about being a casual gamer is that's what allows me to play all those games. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing. That's, that's how I have been able to enjoy video games. I don't want to... I don't need to be an expert at swinging the sword as Zelda. You don't need to be Monster Hunter I don't, I don't need, to play. A game. I don't need the difficulty of Cuphead. <laughs> Although it looks like a beautiful play, fun game, and I've watched the videos of it, but I, it's like one of those games where I'll watch, but I'm not going to play because I love video games. I love video games, and I love to experience video games, and that's what makes me a quote unquote casual gamer because I'm. I'm you want to be I, challenged. You want to be entertained. I, I. But I feel like you know I, I engage the game so much to have fun with it, and then to move on to the next. Right, it, that, that's what you're I a think, consumer. That's James. what I think is a casual gamer to me. That's I, I, I'm not taking it seriously. I'm not you know trying to become the best at it. I'm not trying to become competitive in FIFA. I'm not tr trying to become competitive in uh, a, a, one of those FPS shooter games like a Destiny or something. I'm just looking to go in there, 
play the play the first player or you know just r run around or run around with my buddies in a game or something for a little bit and then you know move on to the next yep <laughs> a i got life to live i got other things i got to do but then it's also like but i like to experience these games and there's also there's some so many amazing games i've been able to experience because of this casual <laughs> approach to my to you know to gaming i think all right and all these games now they want to absorb and take all of your time that's There's, what activision's trying that's to go what for ea fifa wants to do they that's don't want you to play any other game than fifa because and they want you to feel so invested because you spend thousands of dollars on fifa points wow anyone <laughs> and so they want you to feel gigs. invested and they want you to waste all your time yeah, on that impressive amount of impressive amount good thing but like, i mean of course it makes sense that's, that's how they make likes, money it? right it's all about money James. and then it's also about microtransactions it's all about it's all about games as service but that's a whole different art, you know. A whole different video. Anyway. And right now, yeah. All right, I think that's ever. I think that's all I can say in my mind that's right now. Crazy. Hope that did not stop. This is all right. I'm sorry, is, it, girl. is it still on? It is. All right. This is Austin and James of Z. This is all we have to say about uh, the Blizzard. This is us signing off. Have a nice day, and we will see you next video. Ta-ta, ladies and gentlemen.